Nothing like reusing packing. Sweet. This is the um, the old the box that's containing the stuff for the competition. Now, for those of you that may be a little bit confused and you're thinking you never um, you never did a video, man. I know I didn't do a video on it because there's one reason. Due to the way that stupid Apple make their systems handle AVC HD files, it means that it's just crap. And I deleted about, it was nine, I'd, I'd made in my head nine videos. I individually made nine videos. So there was, I don't know how many files were for footage there was, but there was nine videos worth of footage. And I deleted them. And I even deleted them out of the bin and everything. And I tried a few tricks that I know to get them back off the hard drive, but I managed to get two or three files back, but they were corrupt anyway. So that was the end of that. And that's why yesterday's video was late, because I had to make another one. But that's why when I did the video, because um, there's only two entries for the competition. Only two entries, dudes. So instead of putting all the names in the hat, I was literally going to put all names in a hat on a bit of paper. Because I like to do things old school. A lot of people do these computer generated name picker things. Now, nah, none of that crap. So I was going to write all the names out and put them in a hat and then just go out and pick out a name. But there's only two entries. So I thought, well, I ain't going to do that then. That's the pointless. So I just flipped a coin. And it ended up being the old online capture. So he was heads and the watcher was tails. So anyway, I did do that in a video, but I lost the footage. Um, and I'd already told him that he'd won and everything and I thought well I could lie I could make it out and do another video and keep flipping the bloody coin until it reaches heads again But um, there's no point in doing all that. So that's what happened. So here it is all boxed up I'm gonna go and uh, I've already booked a courier so go and send it off to the old online capture I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can go and have a look at his channel and whether he's gonna unbox them or not I have no idea um, but you know go and have a look at his channel and Enjoy. Right, I wasn't going to film none of this crap because I want to get, I want to do it. Every time you're filming something, it takes twice as long. But I'll quickly show you what I'm doing. This is the old pump, the old unit. We know the story. I'm not going to go over it. This is the connections. What we got here. I went and bought a new pump. You saw the video. You saw what I bought. This is it's arrived. This is what we've got. The twats have gone and soldered them on. So what I'm going to do is can't believe it. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my old soldering iron here. And I'm going to desolder them. And once I've desoldered them, I should be able to just put them straight on there. That should be that job done. While I'm waiting for that to warm up, I think I'll go and have a crumpet. Blimey, we're nearly there. So I've got the, the new top transplanted onto the old bottom with the new pump in it. I don't know whether these little pump, these little flimsy lines are going to be enough to hold all that pressure against the older, more quality ones. But this is the path that I'm having to take at the moment. So, while I've been in here again, we've got all these connected up. That's all done. Now, I, I, I didn't get any comments, but I dare say some of you were, you know, um, sh you know, making fun of me or whatever for uh, putting the electrical tape on here. I knew that it weren't going to, I knew the, the petrol was going to erode it and make it, you know, go to goo. But I was hoping I could just forget about it. But since I'm back here again, I decided to get some... Um, petrol proof it's actually proof of loads of stuff but it's supposed to be um you know solvent proof and petrol proof and everything proof tape and it's supposed to fix leaks that's what it's designed to do it's designed to go on a fuel line and temporarily fix a leak that's the the point of it um so hopefully if i put it over this wire and that wire and go around it's supposed to be a waterproof leak obviously and a fuel proof leak and everything so if i put it around these wires around that wire there it should you know it should stay on the wire and it shouldn't go to goo and be melted away by the petrol so that's what i'm going to do now and then after that i'm going to put it in the tank and then i'm going to attach those lines and then tomorrow because it's dark now i'm going to put it in the car and fingers crossed it works because if it doesn't i think i will literally like go mental
from import, the focus is running. The focus runs. It took me four hours this morning because it's raining and cold. I don't have any patience when it's cold. But I put the tank on. Um, I had a few issues with those lines. Very stupid design. Very stupid design. But that's just the way it goes. So the tank's on. Doesn't appear to be any leaks. Fingers crossed there's not going to be any leaks spring up. Um, it runs. I went down the road. And bloody hell. There's so much more power now. It's ridiculous how much more power. It spun up in first, second, third, and was skipping around in fourth. And when I come back, there's a great big line down the road, or two lines down the road, because it's got a, an LSD diff in it. So it's a lot more power, ridiculously amount more power, and it ain't even mapped yet. Now, the trouble is now, it doesn't want to take over, because it's too much fuel. A lot of smoke come out of the exhaust as well. And the engine, the light come on, the fault code, well, when I look to the fault code up, it tells me it's running too rich, which I know about anyway. So, I'm worried now, slightly, that it might, because that fuel pressure regulator, what's built in, what's already on it, obviously probably isn't working very well with that pump. So I may have to go and get another fuel, a fuel pressure regulator, a bit of a more upgraded one to be able to handle that extra pressure. So it's one thing after another. But the tank is in and it runs. I didn't film it because I have no patience when it's cold and I hate working outside. I hate working on cars and I hate laying underneath a car when you've got about two millimetres of space to work with. <laughs> but I did get another case. I've got another one of these cases, look. This is a very nice one. Very nice case. I don't think that is original. It may be. These look to be more original. But that may also be original. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a suitcase expert of any kind. These aren't in the best condition, but these will do for a bit of storage, won't they? Very nice indeed. Very nice. So I'm going to give them a quick wipe out on the inside before I put stuff in them. And then, uh, yeah, see what else I can manage and meddle around with. So oh. 